up to this point, we have generated two primary surfaces and a blend surface or a secondary in between those two primaries. To proceed, I'm going to hide my cutting planes analysis and I'm going to generate an additional curve with this bottom edge and create another primary surface that's going to sweep through. Now, at this point, I'm going to ignore this little bump. This surface, I see it as one big, nicely constrained slab. This is an addition to that slab once it's been created. Now, I'm going to do as I've done in the previous steps. Is I'm going to generate a couple of curves and then create my actual theoretical curve, as you see here, these green curves. So first and foremost, let me go into my theoretical construction. I'm going to right mouse click, theoretical construction, and hide component. And I'm going to true my view up. Right mouse click, and I want to draw on the XZ plane with my 3D curve here. Pretty straightforward. Point, point, point. And again, I like to draw off of the actual part and then pull it to where I need this to go. Curve number one. Look down on the Z, right mouse click, XY is my privileged plane. Let me look up in the other direction. And here you can see my curve. Once again, I'm going to draw another curve that encompasses that bottom edge shape that I need, which is this shape right here. That being said, I'm going to go ahead and uh, analyze to see if that shape can be basically constructed using one of the other curves. It doesn't look like I have a strong enough relationship. Um, so let's take my construction curves, direct construction, right mouse click, and I'm going to show components. And that being said, I have my curves. Um, yeah, I don't think I'll be able to match using these curves. So I'll just hide those once again. I'll just pick them all. All right. Oops. And if I, I realize that I put this in the wrong geo set, so I'm just going to go ahead and change geometrical set, put it into the correct geo set and make this my work object. So the next curve that I draw in will actually go into the geo set. And draw in my next curve. So here I'm just gonna, again, just throw something out really quickly. I'm gonna select OK. I'm gonna go into my Theo curves, right mouse click, define and work object. And then here I'm gonna do my combine. I'm going to combine these two curves, select OK. Now that I have that combined in place, I can begin fitting, as you can see it's way off, and that's fine. I can begin fitting my curve, move this over to here, onto that bottom edge. Just simply shift this, as you've seen me do before. Hit my OK. And pretty close. Looks like I need to match a little bit better at this end, the back end. So let me go ahead and double click. Move this out of the way. And pull this up. And again, I'm just kind of eyeballing it. It's getting it kind of close. We can tweak this and finish this off a little bit later. But for now, I just want to create a nice, clean, generous looking surface. Now, one of the things that I'm a big fan of, like in this case, this is going to be the inter 
interface to the IP. So I'm kind of ignoring this whole area. As I mentioned, I'm going to come back and put that in. I want to make sure I create a nice clean sweep surface through this entire region. Now that I have that in, I'm going to go ahead and make my new slab. I'm going to right mouse click, define a work object, and I'm going to make my sweep. The sweep once again, it's going to be a circle sweep. Uh, I'm going to say two guides in radius. And for this, I'm going to pick guide one, guide two. And I'm going to use this curve as a spine. And let me increase the value. See what ends up happening. And this message is fine and saying it doesn't completely run through all of the, um, the actual guide curve. All right, we'll go to number two, number three, number four. It looks like I do believe that is the one. Is it the one? Nope, I lied to you. There it is, number two. So now I have a surface that runs through this entire area that I need. And again, this area isn't critical to me. This is an IP interface. I just want to create something that I can blend everything back into eventually. Eventually, I'm going to get that IP surface. And I'm going to have to blend back into this area. I'm going to have to blend back into that area. I just need something that I can work with. And this looks pretty good. Okay, now that I have that in place, I can create my next secondary, or I can tweak this a little bit more, whatever is 